Rivian turned an old Yosemite gas station into its first charging outpost. Hey there, EV lovers. Welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for everything electric vehicles. If you're as pumped about the future of transportation as we are, then you've come to the right place. We're here to bring you the latest news, reviews, and tips on all things EV. But before we dive into the electric goodness, we need your help to keep our battery charged. So if you enjoy what you see, give that subscribe button a little love, hit the like button to show your support, and drop us a comment with your thoughts or questions. And if you're feeling extra generous, consider giving us a super thanks to help us improve and bring you even more amazing content. We promise we read every single one of your messages. The building was first a blacksmith shop, then an auto repair shop, and then an old school service station. Rivian made a name for itself as an adventure-focused EV maker. And now it's taking that idea one step further as it opens its first so-called charging outpost at the footsteps of Yosemite National Park. The California-based company that makes the electric R1T pickup and our one SUV said the first of its kind charging station will electrify the east and west entrances of the park, all while doubling as a rest stop and a collection point for recyclables. But it's the history of the building itself that's fascinating, at least in this writer's eyes. Located on Main Street in Groveland, California, the building where Rivian's forward-looking rest stop will soon open its doors to adventurers started in life in the 1870s as a blacksmith shop run by John W. Hammond according to a 2019 Union Democrat article. Some 30-odd years later, the blacksmith started an auto repair shop to keep things afloat as the demand for car mechanics shot up with the proliferation of the automobile. Everything turned to rubble in 1933 when a burning vehicle hit a glass tower gas pump just outside the garage, but new owners rolled up their sleeves and built two new structures, the same that exists today. From 1987 to the early 2000s, Vern Lunetta owned and operated a service station known as Vern's Groveland Gas. After Vern retired, the gas station slowly but surely turned into disarray, as you can see in the Google Street View snapshot embedded below. Rivian picked up the pieces and is trying to preserve the history by integrating what was left into its plans for the future. The building, which is now net zero thanks to a donation from U.S. Solar, will host several DC fast chargers that are part of Rivian's adventure network. Inside, the outpost will provide amenities and educational materials on EV charging basics. Speaking of the company's DC fast charging network, Rivian said it recorded an uptime of over 98% to date, and that over 3,500 stalls will be installed at roughly 600 sites along popular routes and highways in North America. Rivian owners can also top up their batteries at compatible Tesla supercharger stations in North America when using an adapter. The maker of the R1T and R1S also operates a level two charging network called the Rivian Waypoints Network. And that's a wrap for today's episode of EVpedia. We hope you had as much fun as we did exploring the world of electric vehicles. Remember, your likes, subscribes, and comments are the sparks that keep our motor running. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider giving us a super thanks. Your contributions make a huge difference and help us deliver even better content. So click that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.